Oh. Hey, pre notification gang. <coughs> You get it fixed? Well, that's what we're going to find out. the reset bubble good morning everybody well good afternoon everybody thanks to the resub wispy of course i'm gonna play mortal kombat one when it comes out it's a bit swirly and selenia in premiere Things of tier one golden in the resub. Ark uh oh fallen Arkin in the gift sub Troy. In the bits Adonis. No no no, I was just I was going to talk about the Oompa stuff. I have, I've already watched it. You keeping track of the Russian rebellion? Uh, whatever I catch on Twitter. Yeah. There's a five gift subs Dayton, and the resub Neutrino, Portrait, and Zaki, and Inferno. Why is he streaming so early? Well, this is actually an experimental stream. Last night, when trying to stream Final Fantasy, it kept lagging, like, every handful of seconds. So, I have no other way of testing it other than just going live here, so... I tinkered around with a few settings, and I guess we'll we'll see. What are we reacting to today? Nothing. We're just going over some stories and shit. I've got this up because I wanted to talk about the Oompa situation. You've been bulking, looking like you put on some weight. It's always nice that people notice that. Yeah, I'm up about seven pounds now. I've been really getting after it. Thanks for some Galactus, Undead, Arrow, Celtic, Geo, Wadi, Bean, and the Prime. Sarcasm, Pelotion, and Zom. No, we're not Arrow. YouTube removed your Abenai sisters video? Really? Wait, what? Did they? Are you sure? Huh. That's a that's odd. That that is surprising. No, wait, it's still there. It's just not showing up when, when you look for it on YouTube for some reason. Yeah, no, it's still there, though. I just double-checked. Thanks to the bits crabby in the resub purple, fluffy, Joe, Joshy, Snow, and Nick. No Final Fantasy today? No Final Fantasy right now, because I'm, uh... Testing the stream since last night 
playing Final Fantasy kept actually freezing the stream every handful of seconds. So that's what we're doing today. We're getting experimental. We'll see if it stutters and lags, and if it doesn't, then it might just be something with my capture card, and I might need to get a new one or change out cables or something. I'm not sure. Oh, I did see that. Thanks to 10 gift subs, Mary, and the prime milk. Happy birthday, Krabby. Yeah, there was someone at a Dragon Ball Fighter Z tournament who lost, like, in pools, got so upset that he threw his controller and then sprinted back and, like, blasted some guy who was filming it. This was this was some prime gamer rage. Who, who tweeted it? I think it was Breezy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a while since we've seen a good gamer rage. Careful. The legit skill issue. Usually that's where it stops. The, the controller spike, the headphone spike, but we get the dessert too. Hey, yo! That's a, that's a body, gang. That's a body. Son, son, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah. Damn, broke the whole thing. He got really lucky that I think that's his friend came in and just stopped that because. He is not, he is not built for fighting. But yeah, that was some big gamer rage moment there. It's just like literally losing in pools too. It's not like he was going to win the whole fucking tournament and it was some kind of crazy upset. Thanks to the Risa Bambino, Panzer, Bear, Grinds, Devante, Emeritus, Dumpster, Chaos, and the Gifts of Mars. And the Bits Grump. When you play Final Fantasy 16 today? Like I said, it depends on how this stream goes. Because last night, when doing Final Fantasy, it was lagging every couple of seconds. So I'm trying to figure out if it's capture card related, Twitch related, or what. So that's why we're doing a little early stream here to kind of test. <clears throat> Things to give sub Grump and the resub Rachel. Have you been avoiding sucralose? I have, and I find it's nuts how much stuff has it in it. I've avoided everything with sucralose except my protein drinks. There is not a single goddamn protein drink on the planet that doesn't have sucralose in it, it seems. And I, and I need those puppies. But everything else, yeah. Things of the tier one TL and the resub Carlos and Ons and the resub Pog and LCF. Are you gonna get any Street Fighter Six players on the team soon? We have one coming up. Stay tuned. The announcement should be in the next day or so. I'm, I'm not exactly sure when the when the team wants to announce it. But yeah. I like our odds of being the best in Street Fighter 6, and I also want to get some training from them as well. Hotashi is actually dangerous in Street Fighter 6 too, so we have two Street Fighter 6 players, but Hotashi's flex because he's also Guilty Gear. But yeah, Hotashi is pretty nasty with the sticks on Street Fighter. I'm 
Things are you said Big X and Weeb and Jehovah. Did you see the new 2109 only up record? What the fuck? A 2109? How is that possible? Oh my god, wait, what? How is that possible? What's, what, what's up with the quality here? Only 360. Thanks, Arisa. I've seen. He doesn't even do ball skip. Looks like normal pipes. Oh. That was a reset. No ball skip, normal pipes. This is also pretty normal. I don't do this skip because I think it's super trivial. So no new changes in the beginning. This is all standard. Thanks to resub Cami and Chester. He probably does drone to win. All of this is the same. Did he just have a perfect run? Oh wow, he also doesn't do um, uh, risky trampoline. Though I didn't know you could do that, that's huge for me. Okay, he does do hot air balloon trampoline though. Oh hey, thanks for the raid Hikaru, appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Welcome. We're just going over some wacky shit. Also looking to improve my only up speed run. Hope you had a great stream. Welcome everybody. Thank you tier one bushy. He does cork. Every high level player does cork. Which I have a lot of respect for, but it won't be me. I'm done with cork. I'm retired from cork. Where does it- how does he save so much time? This is just the standard route. How does he get a 21 minute run? Hikaru's been speedrunning this? Oh, have you? Wait, I, ha I haven't seen any of your runs. How have they been going? No, I'm trying. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It took me a very long time to even finish, like, one run. A 15-minute boat, and he hasn't used any new tricks. This actually just must be perfect with no flaws, because so far it's all been first try, super optimized. What is this? He even stopped for a minute there. Oh! He's doing fucking turbo wing bounce! jump or does he just catch the bounce and the, and the run's just done? How do you set this up? Because I can get to the dragon at this point, I just usually don't bother trying to even bounce onto him because it's so fucking far away. So how do you, how do you make this? 
Thanks to Brian, Rom, and Crank. Be honest. Yeah, no, he doesn't even jump, he just straight runs. That makes it even easier. Yep, it's just running. You have to jump. He doesn't. You can tell when someone jumps because there's a there's an animation for it. it. It doesn't look like he jumps unless it's really like split second. Because it looks like it is the hitbox that flings him because it's about to go up again so it must launch him. Which we've had happen before. That's... That's a really cool uh, new method here. I knew about wing, but you usually do it after like a full rotation around there. And this is huge because you get to land on the very end here. This hitbox must extend extremely far. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to try that. I'll just throw every one, every single fucking runaway going for that. Distortion spends all of yesterday trying to get this. Oh, is it like actually very hard? Because it looked pretty doable since you don't have to time a jump or anything. It just must be hard to get on the wing. It might be, that might be it. It might be really hard to get on the wing without climbing. Because if you do a climb animation, you'll fall through the wing. That must be the challenge. Thanks the resub BK. You think you can do that too? I think I can probably get one run that does that. I, I think I'm good for at least one run with this. Like ever. Thanks your resub flunky. The give sub Keaton. Distortion got it eight times in a row today. Okay, so you can get consistent with it. It's just a matter of, I guess, getting the timing down. Because again, if you climb on that wing, you're going to fall through it. So that'll probably be the end. These are some Flanders. That's cool. I'm definitely going to be giving that new tactic a try. Do you think sub-20 is possible? I don't know. I don't know where he made any mistakes. I don't know where you could save time with the current route. He did everything perfectly, super optimized. I guess the only place you could save time is right here. He does slow-mo the whole way. If you could do this without slow-mo, like if you were really precise, you'd probably get a sub-21, but not a sub-20. He didn't ball skip. It's because it's illegal to ball skip, I think. Someone in chat was saying that. Apparently they banned it for the runs. Oh no, they're just talking about it right now? Gotcha. So he left Earth at 9.31. My best Earth time is an 11... What was it? 11.10 or something? So I'm really not even far behind like the most optimized Earth. Can't understand people's interest in this obvious piece of streamer bait. Just because it's streamer bait, which I've said a million times it is, it's just rage bait for content, doesn't mean that the speedrun is anything less than hype. It's a really fun speedrun. Thanks for give sub Leon, the resub missed.
You might be able to get even higher with the wing setup. People in the community theorize it can get you to space. That would be another huge time save if you could get somehow a bigger launch. If it could take you straight to the very, very top, sub-20 would be possible. Because this is an, a, min a, a minute-long ride. So if you could save that, sub-20 would be possible. Let's give some Keaton. What happened to the seven minute run? Is it valid? Those aren't real runs. You're talking about these, right? I didn't see the seven minute one, but you're talking about like these, I imagine. So if you run over here, it'll just, it's like an elevator that takes you right to the end. These aren't really speed runs. Thanks to the tier one, Will. This is a totally separate thing. Yeah, unrestricted. This would be like an unrestricted speed run. Because it just does the whole thing for you. <laughs> What's my best time? A 37.14. So like, this isn't a very fun speed run. That's why no one does this. The seven minute one is any percent with major glitches. I'll look at it real quick. Oh, what, what's the video called? Because when I looked up only up seven minutes, it didn't come up. What, what's, what's the run called? Is it prime? Not nice. No, I haven't finished Final Fantasy 16 yet. It's very, very good though. I'm enjoying it a lot. Do garbage skip. <laughs> why is why is mine the first thing that comes up when you do only up plus garbage? My runs are incredible. What the fuck is that? That's just insulting. I have a 37 minute run in this game. Show some respect, YouTube algorithm. Wow. That's just mean for no reason. Okay, let me is it on speedrun.com? Thanks to the tier one well. No, I don't see it here. I, so where's this seven minute one? Thanks to Prime Shay. And the resub gogurt. Unrestricted, it's right there. Just went there. Those are all like the three minute, one minute runs using the elevator. I mean, I'll check again, but I mean, the longest one here is from two days ago and it still uses the same elevator, I believe. Oh no, this uses a different thing. It uses a plank of wood. That's interesting. It looks like this is a, a glitch you can kind of... Here, I'll pull it up. This looks like a glitch you could actually do basically anywhere. But I don't think this is the one you're talking about. Let's resub to da. The resub baddie. So tight. 
Oh, it's all up. It's a mental. This one's kind of crazy. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a... It's a cool glitch, but yeah, it makes the run kind of uninteresting. I wish they would allow it just to skip the train tracks section, though. Just do, like, a mini roll glitch. Skip the train tracks, because that's just so boring. There's nothing to do there. There's no tricks. There's no tech. You literally just run in a fucking straight line, basically. It's super, super lame. So maybe just use roll glitch to skip that. We allow it. It's deleted, but I have a link. Hmm. Only up 732 glitch fest. Oh. Okay. This is all normal. Actually, not really. Wait, how's he here in four minutes? Oh, don't oh he does that. ball bounce. We need to get to the top. I'm Which sure is RNG. We'll what the fuck just happened? I don't even understand the glitch there. Thanks to Risa, Potato, Ghost, Dominic, Batty, and the Prime Hallman. It's a windmill super launch. I didn't even know it could do that. Drifting. Run to the finish He's a prime line. Casco. Give up your hopes, and if you wait, that's a glitch that would absolutely work in like a legal run. Wait, you you could use that. Wing launch feels legit. Yeah, that wing launch seems real. That's what uh, the 21 minute run uses. It just did a different spot and it didn't take him as high. But that, that would be totally legal in the actual run. The beginning isn't, but after that, this is. He's prime frozen. Isn't the current strata wing launch as well? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This... Assuming this isn't, like, tool-assisted, this is legal. It also seems like it's far more forgiving. But I guess the timing might be brutal. Interesting. I'm curious to see if anyone's going to try and use that. What makes which parts legal and illegal? I, brother, you're asking the wrong guy. I'm not in the fucking only up co uh, council here. All I know is wing launches are allowed. Uh, I guess roll launches aren't. Ball launch is being considered illegal since it's so RNG. And obviously the basically dev elevator exit is illegal too. <clears throat> Thanks for your subfortunate. Glitch lawyers in the chat. <laughs> yeah, again, I'm, I'm, I'm not on the board of what is and is not legal. If I was, I would say 
we can absolutely use roll launches to skip train tracks. This is so mind-numbingly boring. Skip train track and pipes. That's boring. That shit sucks. That's the least interesting part of the whole run. If you can just allow roll launch to train carts, golden. Fucking golden. Isn't a speedrun supposed to be the quickest way? Yeah, this is a different category. This is called unrestricted. The main category everyone runs is any percent. All roll launches are legal. Ball launch are still legal. The 732 run is technically technically legit, but heavily segmented. It wouldn't be legit, though. Even if it wasn't segmented, because this windmill launch, I'm assuming, uses a roll launch on the blade, which is how he gets so high. That's my guess. I'm assuming what happens here is he climbed up, did a roll launch, and that's how we got this. So it still wouldn't be legal. Unless, unless I'm wrong, maybe it is something wacky with the windmill itself. Hear about the new McDonald's game? No, I did not. Why are roll launches illegal? I imagine because they skip the majority of the run. So they're illegal in any percent, but legal and unrestricted. That's my guess. You should download the trainer to practice dragon. Uh, eh. Distortion just got a 910 Earth? Holy fuck. And I didn't watch Secret Invasion yet, no. Water 7 update. I'm almost done with Water 7. I'll post my thoughts on the second channel when I finish. Spoiler alert, I'm actually really liking it. Water 7 is living up to the hype. It is the first time since I've started watching One Piece where I'm like, this is good. I still hate Luffy. Water 7 is making me hate Luffy more. Everything else is great. You may always hate Luffy. I'm expecting to. I actually can't stand that character. Thanks to Tier 1, Sir Meister, and the Reese of Ali. He's cool, like, 20% of the time. The other 80%, he is fucking awful. I cannot stand Luffy. The McDonald's game is called Grimace Birthday. Oh, I have heard of that. Oh, no, I guess it's Grimace Birthday is a meal. What's the game? They made a Game Boy game. What an interesting idea. <clears throat> okay. What do you think of Usopp? Usopp's grown on me. Uh, I, I've liked Usopp a good bit in Water 7 so far, so Usopp's grown on me. A Grimace speedrun win sounds absolutely miserable. You have until August 6th to catch up. What's with that deadline? What's on August 6th for One Piece? Is that a big date? 
Oh, August 6th is when uh, One Piece film Red came out, which I did see. It was fine, I guess. August 6th is when the world ends. Oh, is that from AI Spongebob? No, that was August 12th. Oh. Please resub cahoots. Don't look at chat or look up the date. If it's about One Piece spoilers, uh, I already know everything that pretty much happens with most of the characters. Keep in mind, Deanna watched the entire show, like, within the span of two or three months, basically. So I've seen, like, all of it. I'm not too worried about spoilers. It's for the manga. Ah. He's the bit silent. Vinland Saga Season 2 was fantastic. I just haven't moist metered it yet. I, I probably will at some point. I just haven't. I actually had quite a bit going on over the last few days. He's the prime twisty. You hear about the drama around Two Mad on Twitter? Shit's frick, shit's freaking weird. Yeah, that. Oh my god, that whole thing is so fucking odd. I I don't understand what he's doing. It is miserable to read, though. It is it is absolutely mind rotting. I I saw that this morning. Good lord. Is there a sub viper? The Give Sub Town. I heard Distortion's on a fucking crazy run. I haven't finished Final Fantasy yet. But I will. I'm very excited to. This stream is just making sure that it's not lagging, and so far it hasn't been. Which tells me that I might have a problem with either my capture card or the cables. So, that I need to figure out how to fix. Yep, Oompa, the, the title wasn't clickbait. Oompa got scammed in a big fucking way. This is actually a really well-made video going over the entire journey, and it's so fucking sad, man. In a nutshell, Oompa launching a candy company. It's actually candy that I had before by accident. Like, I didn't know it was his. You might remember during our early Moist Esports watch parties, we were all eating a bunch of, like, sour candy. That was his candy. We didn't know it. Like, it actually slapped. And those were like, I guess, prototypes that he did like a promotional for that we got. And fast forward over the last year and a half or so, I don't remember how long it's been now, but he's been trying to launch that candy company in a bigger way. So he's up the production, got a warehouse, and he got a big machine in order to really be able to pump out volume and scale. Turns out the person who supposedly built the machine and shipped him the machine was a giant fucking scammer who also happened to be a friend of his. Not like 
a best friend, but a close enough friend where it would be the ultimate betrayal to even consider a scam. So basically, the machine that he bought under the assumption that it was built by his friend, uh, serviced by his friend's friend, was all a complete lie. What it was, was he bought the machine from China and upcharged Oompa like fucking 3 or 4x what it was actually valued at. So in total, he's out a million dollars. Would have been more too, he was supposed to send an additional like 70 grand to the scammer, but he, he had like a come to Jesus moment about it being fishy. And uh, yeah, he is still planning on launching the candy company. He says it's in a good spot, but he did lose a million dollars over the course of this journey because of that scammer that was his friend. How stupid. It's not his fault. Like, when you watch the video, I think it becomes pretty clear how anyone would have fallen for this. Like, there was so much communication. The person was, for for the most part, reputable. It was a friend, trustworthy, so you always give them the benefit of the doubt in the first place. Oompa bent over backwards to pay wages and accommodate in order to get everything, you know, situated. Getting everything serviced, having a maintenance team, doing all pretty much everything by the book. But it just turns out it was all a complete fucking lie. Even if it wasn't a scam, he'd be out a million. Yeah, but he'd have a company to show for it. Right now, he still has to keep building in order to get that ready. He says he is close and it's in a good spot. But that million dollars, assuming it didn't go to a scammer would have helped launch the company, and they would have already been in production. That's the whole point. Well, and also, another thing that I think is worth mentioning, the machine that he did get, that came from China, that he was told was built by his friend and, and all them, the machine was quoted on the receipt as $143,000. Meanwhile, Oompa paid like seven hundred grand. <laughs> so... He, he also wouldn't have been out a million dollars, and he would have also been in production by now. Is this guy a big YouTuber? Yeah, he's a huge YouTuber. 4.4 million subs. Links of five gift subs. Crum, and the resub Blue Bay, Sin, Dam, Riley, Player, and the Prime Octopus. <laughs> Distortion just lost on Dragon. That happens to pretty much everyone. That's this is a, this is this is a learning process. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I'm sure he'll get it soon. Even if it was your friend, wouldn't you look up how much the machine may be going for? Well, he, he again, he wasn't buying a pre-built machine. The whole reason that he was going to his friend for this was to produce that machine, to make that machine. It wasn't supposed to be, like, a pre-built machine. So where would you even go to get information on that or see other competitive quotes when this is supposed to be, like, basically a bespoke deal here? So I, I can't blame him for that. Like, there's nothing you can really do there. Local engineer? What? No, wasn't a local engineer. It wasn't one mil for the machine. He lost one mil over time by getting the machine and paying the guy and everything. Yep. He said uh, 700000 to the actual scammer, and then over the course of, like, wages and other expenses came out to around a million dollars in the shitter. Should have consulted me easy. True, he should have went to you. He should have been in Twitch chat just looking for the experts.
You would have sniffed it out. Just go to ask Reddit for advice. Where all sane people go, yeah. Why not ask a specialist about this before paying? The guy was a fucking specialist. Well, was supposed to be a specialist. And I guess, in a way, he was with scamming. Like, I don't know who else he was supposed to find. <laughs> like, you, Willy Wonka? Like, at, at, it's a hard thing to, to find people for that. Thanks for resub dung. No, it's candy in general, yeah. So sour boys, they make uh, like sour, little sa sour candies. And we've had them, they're good. It's a shame this whole situation happened to them. What did you think of Sons of the Forest? Uh, I didn't play too much of it. I just really kind of speed ran it. I lost interest after the first couple times of trying it, so ended up just speed running it. Can he do something to press charges, or is it out of his control? Oh, they could absolutely press charges, 100%. Now, I don't know how hard they're going to go on that, but yeah, you can't just scam someone out of $700,000 for <laughs> labor you didn't do. And a completely false pretense on the whole situation, yeah. They could absolutely sue. And should sue. He's a prime cam. Do you think this scammer might flee the country? I don't know. I'm not his dad. I don't know what his plan is. Can't sue if you can't be served. Yep. That's true. You just gotta you gotta be real elusive. Just hide in the shadows and wear a disguise like glasses and a mustache. Thanks for the bits, Adeka. Yep. Just kinda going over things for this afternoon, making sure the stream's not lagging, then probably Final Fantasy 16 later. Or if it's not lagging, I might need to try and get a new capture card or some cables because both streams for Final Fantasy yesterday were lagging. Thanks to the resub king and colonel. Did you see the picture of the Titanic sub controller in the ocean? Oh no. Did they find a piece of it? How would the controller of all things survive the implosion? It's definitely fake. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I was going to say that wouldn't make any fucking sense. That is like a $20 piece of tech. I, I, I highly doubt of anything that would have somehow survived an implosion, it would be that. That doesn't even survive getting slammed on the floor during Gamer Rage. I 
Here's the resub, Brendan and the Prime Solohav. Yeah, I talked about the James Cameron stuff. James Cameron is like an actual savant when it comes to subs. Things are some physical. Please don't use the Twitch hype chat shit. Talking about scams and that that's one right there. Don't use that. <laughs> Please. Things are some loopy. And fast. Is there no option to disable hype chat? No, I think because it's experimental, I can't turn it off. I'll look. I'll double check. But like, I couldn't turn off elevated chat when they were trying that fucking awful feature either. You can set a hype chat to a minimum of $100 to stop people from using it. <laughs> Oh, wait, can you? You can change the minimum value? What happens if you try under the minimum value? Does it just say you're too poor to hype chat? Or what happens? Where, where do you change that? I don't see it. Okay, I'll just Google it. Oh, they thought ahead. With hype chat, viewers will be able to send chat messages with amounts from one to five hundred US dollars, and streamers can set the minimum up to a hundred. So it looks like you can't set the minimum higher than that. They thought ahead because they probably knew streamers would, since they're not allowed to turn it off, would set the minimum to like an absolutely unreachable number. Where where do you I don't even see where you change that though in the settings. Thanks to the resub, Dome, and Moav. Does Twitch take a cut of the hype chat? Yes. And you incur a 5% fee, transaction fee. Like you, the viewer, or the sender, incur a 5% transaction fee or something like that. Yeah, here, it's in the FAQs. How do I turn off hype chat? Streamers cannot opt out of hype chat. <laughs> cool. Very, very cool. I, I still don't even see like the minimum settings here on the on the dashboard. Where the fuck is it? That's not it. Do I need to make an alert box to change it? Does does anyone know? Has anyone has anyone figured this out? So I can basically turn that off. Thanks for the bits, Zach. What are you doing? Uh, trying to set the hype chat minimum to the highest so that way people don't do it as a, a meme or use it at all, like like that for example. It's a fucking scam. No, I was talking to Dankin. Dankin's here. Uh, 
I have no idea that feature is a scam. <laughs> what did it? I, I know that's why I'm that's why I'm trying to solve this since you're not allowed to turn it off. Where is it? Like I don't even see it anywhere in the dashboard to set that minimum. Oh, found it, found it. Okay. Should be good now. Thanks to Prime Wizard and the resub Steven in total. Can't set it above 100. Twitch thought of, literally thought of everything. Can't turn it off and you can't set it to a completely unreachable number. You can only go through drop, through drop down. Which I think is very scummy. The whole thing is so fucking scummy it's unreal. You plan on any MTG Lord of the Rings box openings? Yeah, like I said, my friends and Tiana really wanted to, so we're, we're going to give her a whirl. I know we're not going to get it, but we're, we're going give it to give it a shot. You see the new only up world record? Yep, that's what we were talking about. I'm going to start trying to do the wing bounce into my runs. Have you kept up with the Xbox FTC trial? Only very minimal. I saw Phil Spencer said that he promises not to make Call of Duty Xbox exclusive. <laughs> Which to me, it almost just sounds like a threat. Like, I didn't even consider that, but that, that sounds like a threat. Like, I, I wasn't convinced. I was like, hmm, hmm, don't know about that. Is the resub lock? Did you see that only 10% of the thousand planets will have life on them in Starfield to make it realistic? Yeah, like I said, to me, I don't know why they keep saying that. That just makes the hype less and less exciting. They had an absolutely banger pr uh, presentation for it. And now everything they've said since is kind of dwindled hype, such as 30 FPS lock for um, console. Uh, and now, like, 10% eh, will have life. It's like, come on, man. I appreciate the honesty, but what the fuck? Like the resub Irish. But that's still at least 100 planets, which is... I mean, that's more than, that's more than most games, I guess. You rather they lie? I don't know. I guess I just rather keep living in the delusion that it was going to be like really like populated worlds of not just barren emptiness Roblox has more planets full of life. Okay, fair enough, I guess. 
Yeah, not wrong, Arrow. Thanks to resub, Felipe. How did you land your role in the Hunger Games? You've been asking that for like the last hour. You must be really wanting to pursue acting on a high level. Well, my performance will never be replicated, but I was able to land the role through, uh, what was it called? Backstage.com, I think it was. They had an open casting call for people local to Atlanta, which I wasn't, but how, how would they know? So I just kind of submitted through that, and it was like headshots. I told the whole story like five years ago or something. There's a recent chance in the prime tofu. You see the YouTuber that had a trip on the Titan but canceled last second. Yeah. Do uh, well, it was Dolly MD, right? Or Doll MYD. That's what it was. Yeah, this is actually fucking chilling. He was supposed to go on the Titanic expedition. Like... What, what, what was it? it was like two weeks three weeks something like that a matter of days before the ultimate demise of the titan expedition they they even go into the, the sub like they even do a dive it just wasn't a full dive there was some problems and they had to cancel the trip so like they actually did go under but they came back out it's bolted in and everything it's fucking terrifying he legitimately escaped death it, it, it that weather phenomenon or whatever canceled it actually saved their lives there's a tier one distant in the resub on you and i mentioned this last night but i'll mention it again just because it's so crazy to me on one of the titan expeditions last tours i suppose they went to the seafloor and realized that they installed the thruster backwards so there's a bbc documentary that's that clips have now surfaced where they're talking about this this absolute fucking <laughs> insane situation where the sub can only do 360s because it's installed backwards so they ended up having and, and also the ceo stockton rush couldn't remember which buttons did what on the controller, so when they were trying to instruct them, it was basically just playing trial and error. It was guessing. And they eventually came up with a method of, like, turning the controller on its side and doing some kind of weird shit with it in order to, like, somehow equalize it and, and control it. It was crazy. They installed the fucking thruster backwards, I guess. I, I just don't know how... How... They didn't get, like, shut down before, you know, killing five people... Although I don't know who would shut them down, fucking Poseidon or something. I, I don't know who, like, would govern submarine tours, but this this was a death trap. Inverted controls. <laughs> yeah, basically. Is the resub crow maji frequency and uh, main the bits taco? James Cameron said he knew Monday it was an implosion. Yeah, it seems like everyone knowledgeable on submersibles knew pretty much instantly that it had imploded. It was just kind of the media that kept fanning the flames of hope of like, oh, we're hearing banging. They could be down there running out of oxygen as we speak, and here's our little countdown. But most people in the industry understood that it imploded pretty quickly. I 
think it's the gift sub post. True arrow, yeah. St I, I think Stockton Rush will go down in history as the most incompetent CEO up there with some of the absolute all-time goofballs, such as the CEO of an unbreakable window company who, during a demonstration to show how unbreakable his windows were, from like the 130th floor of a building, he threw himself at the window and it popped out of the frame and he fell to his death. I think Stockton Rush will be in the same conversation with that guy. It is unreal, the incompetence from Stockton Rush from start to finish. And all with such a prideful, smug, shit-eating grin on his face. That actually happened. The window thing? Yeah. That's a very well-known one. I'm surprised, you, I'm surprised more people haven't heard of that. I'm surprised so many people in chat gave question marks. Here. The death of Gary Hoy. In an attempt to prove to a group of prospective art articling students that the building's glass windows were unbreakable, he threw himself against the glass. The glass didn't break when he hit it, but the window frame gave way and Hoy fell to his death. He proved his point, at least. Well, I imagine it broke when it hit the ground. Let's see, did, did they say? Oh, oh, no, never mind. It kept going. The glass, in fact, did not break, but popped out of frame. I thought I was going to say did not break, like, on the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't say. I, I imagine it broke when it hit the ground. Thanks, Arisa. Josk in care. On the list of inventors killed by their own inventions, Stockton Rush is right after the Titanic's designer who went down with the ship. That can't be in chronological order, though. There's been so many other inventors killed by their inventions before this. And after the Titanic. A another notable one. The guy who made segways. He died on a segway, right? Isn't he the one that fell off the bridge on a segway? Or am I completely misremembering how that situation played out? Segway CEO Jimmy Helson's ironic death. Uh, uh, Sean Green. Saw Helson reverse the scooter, stumble, and disappear. He then spotted Hel Heseldin, I don't know how to say his last name, Heseldin 42 feet below face down in the river. Authorities produced the Segway CEO dead at the scene. They believe he fell off the cliff where he was last seen. So it wasn't a bridge, it was a cliff, but yeah. Bro, didn't some flat earther fly his homemade rocket? It, yeah, well, that's... I, I mean, I guess if you want to call him an inventor, I suppose. He's more akin to, like, Dexter's lab making a, a goofy gadget. But yeah, a guy trying to prove the earth was flat, built a homemade rocket, sent himself into the sky, and then plummeted to his death. But point is, point is, there's no way that Stockton Rush is right next to the Titanic ship designer. There's been so many other inventors killed by their inventions in the meantime. There's no way. That has to be out of order. Thanks for resub, DJ. The Wikipedia list is sorted by type, so Stockton is in the nautical section. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. What other ones are on there? What's the what's the category? Inventors killed by invent their own inventions. Yeah. Oh wait, uh, is this toss? 
why would they put this... They have a gif on this Wikipedia page of a guy jumping off the Eiffel Tower to try and show that his invention worked better than a parachute or something and he dies. But they just have it here. So I can't, I can't pull this up. Is there you said washer red in the prime garo? Franz Rischelt was his name. Yep, Franz Rischelt. Yeah. Man, this is a long fucking list. It's always so wild the people that tried to do flying machines. Because they really went in, like, hard. When attempting to fly using two wooden wings and a rope, he leapt from the roof of a mosque and fell to his death. And then there's, like, ten other people here who did similar things. Oh my lord. Wait, this one's not even that long ago. Henry Smolinski was killed during a test flight of his AVE Mazar, a flying car based on a Ford Pinto, and the sole product of the company he founded. I've never heard of this. Holy shit, look at this thing. That's, that's like some James Bond shit. Thanks to the resub, Apom, Zoink, and Tier 1 Lumos. On a test flight from Camarillo Airport in California, according to test pilot Charles Red Janis, the right wing strut base mounting attachment failed soon after takeoff because turning the aircraft would put too much stress on the unsupported wing. Janis put the aircraft down in the bean field after the roadway was closed to traffic and Janis drove the otherwise undamaged aircraft back to the airport. So it looks like they had one unsuccessful test flight, but at least it wasn't fatal until it was. September 11th, 1973, test flight at Camarillo, right wing strut again detached from the Pinto. With Janus not available for this test flight, Mazar creator Smolinski was at the controls. Although some reports say the Pinto separated from the airframe, air traffic controller Reed Wesk, who was watching through binoculars, said the aircraft disintegrated after taking off and making a right turn. How much fucking power was the Ford Pinto packing? It disintegrated on a single right turn? Was he breaking the sound barrier? According to Janice, the wing folded because the pilot tried to turn the aircraft when the wing strut support failed. Smolinski and Vice President of AVE Harold Blake were killed in the resulting crash. Christ. My lord. Yeah, this is one I've never heard of before. I've never even seen this. What an awful idea. I don't even know what the practical use case would be for these. There's no future where anyone would be getting into Ford Pintos at the airfield and be like, hey, I'm, I'm going to go visit my friends over in Orlando. Should only be like a 20-minute Ford Pinto aircraft flight. Makes a tier one slightly. I mean, it is, it's cool, I guess. Like I said, it's a, it's a nice little gadget. This is some shit Jet Fusion would have used in Jimmy Neutron. Thanks to the resub zombie. <coughs> <coughs> Who else? This is a wild list. Oh my lord, another one. Very similar. This was in 2009. Michael Dacre died after a crash that occurred while testing his flying taxi device. This doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. But it seemed... He doesn't even have a Wikipedia page, but what he made does. It was a design proposal, proposal for a quiet aircraft that could take off and land in short distances. Uh, it was, I guess it was supposed to be used as a civilian transport vehicle? Wow. K 
Okay, well, that's uh, that's these are some wild ones here. Here's some chemistry ones. <clears throat> these are some zombie. These are great ideas with terrible execution. A flying ta I, I I know people are kind of romanticizing the idea of flying cars and all of that. Think of just how miserable that would be. Think of all of the awful drivers on the road right now on the ground. And now picture them in the air. Traffic would be an absolute fucking nightmare, and every single minor inconvenience would turn into the biggest possible problem. There, there's no world where actual flying cars would be good. I'd hate it. I think everyone would hate it. It'd have, yeah, it'd have to be, like, fully automated. Here's the maritime ones. Well, some of the maritime ones. These are just... So, like, some of these aren't even their fault, but they're on the list because they made it and died from it. So, like, the first one on maritime is Henry Winstanley, who built the first lighthouse on the Eddystone Rocks, but then there was a huge storm, which is even literally called the Great Storm of 1703, and he and five other men died from it. So I, I, I feel bad that he's even on this list with the people that are making, like, flying Ford Pintos. Oh, man. This is a crazy one. Valerian Abakovsky constructed the Aero Wagon, which was an experimental high-speed rail car fitted with an aircraft engine and prop uh, propeller traction. It was intended to carry Soviet officials. On July 24th, 1921, it derailed at high speed, killing six of 22 on board, including Abakovsky. The man made, he was literally making a fucking flying train, it sounds like. Well, I, I don't think it was supposed to go in the air, but he made a jet train. He strapped fucking rocket boosters on it. Damn, these are some crazy ideas. Thanks for the bits, Arrow. Is that a real story? Don't show this on stream. Have you heard of the basketball player who got mad at a referee and headbutted a concrete pole in anger and literally crippled himself? Is that real? I've never heard of that. That's horrifying. Things are said, Freddy in the bits arrow. Somebody removed Stockton today because he was not a real inventor, Sag. Oh, true, yeah, he wasn't on the maritime section. This was an interesting list. Oh, also, here's a correction. The Segway scooter guys on here is like an honorable mention. It says Jimmy he uh, Heseldon was killed riding a Segway scooter. He owned Segway, but he did not invent the Segway. You hear about the brazen bull, it was a torture device that the 
that the creator was condemned to be put into the device and died? I know everyone knows the brazen bull. I think that's still considered the most inhumane torture device that humanity's ever made. I didn't know the creator got thrown into it, though, if that's true or not. The brazen bull's on the page? Where? I don't- I didn't see it when I was going through it. It's at the very bottom. Oh, in the popular legends. Yeah, I see it. Peri Perilos of Athens. Perios of Athens. According to the legend, was the first to be roasted in the brazen bull he made for Theralus of Sicily for executing criminals. Pretty sure brazen bulls are fake and never used. I, I didn't know that was like a contended historical point or not, but I, I think everyone's heard of them though because of just how fucked up of a concept they are. So they kind of became something of a, a legend if nothing else. Aaron playing right now for top 24 in CEO. Is he up? All right. I can't pull it up on stream. I didn't get uh, watch party rights, but I'm going to put it up here so I can keep up. He's a bit arrow. What was that torture device called? Brazen Bull. Two entries down from that bull guy is a guy who died from strapping fireworks to his chair to get to space. I didn't see that one either. I didn't really look at the uh, popular legends one. I wanted the ones with, like, verifiable proof, but that sounds like a crazy one. Thanks, a resub. Game, bro. Last time the bull was used was in 287 AD. Uh, that was a that was a rough year. Yeah, that bull got dusted off. He's a prime Adam. In the resub ban in the prime Liam. You hear about the train that collapsed into the Yellowstone River. Is that recent? Because if so, no, I didn't hear about that. I know a couple weeks ago the uh, bridge in Philly collapsed. Or was it a it wasn't a bridge, it was a uh, what was it, part of the interstate or something? The overpass, that's what it was. Well, thank you for the 10 gift sub speed racer. Been a while, man. Hope you're doing well. I hate Steve. Steve is such a dog shit character in Smash, goddammit.
Yeah, I got the Aaron game up up here. Only up today? No, 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 not today. I will keep speedrunning it, though. I really do like the route. I think it's a very fun speed game. Which is crazy. It has no right to be as fun as, as, fun as it is for speedrunning. Makes a tier one biggie. Have I seen the new Valorant agent? No, I did not. Next is the resub mint. Did you see the anime? What? No, I didn't see any of that. Was that today or something? I haven't really been on Twitter too much today. The main thing I saw on Twitter this morning was um, the the Wagner stuff. The the Wagner versus Russia stuff. That's a, that's all over the timeline this morning. Things are some lines in the prime tetchu. Would you ever consider speedrunning Ark Survival Evolved? Absolutely not. I don't even like Ark. Oh, speaking of Ark, though, I, I I don't think I ever even mentioned this. I saw the whole um, corruption with that that um, company, where they like actually just ban people for pretty much nothing. I I saw a, a good bit of that. That's fucking crazy. Like I knew about their greedy, scummy practices of like making you rebuy all the shit because they're like upgrading the engine or something, so you have to rebuy everything. But even aside from that, the, the way they just banned players in that game for almost fucking nothing is crazy. Is it resub juvie? They actually banned people in ARC? From the, like, official server stuff? Yeah. Because they have, like, their own... Like, the developers have their own bases. And when they get their base raided, they fucking baby rage. At least that's what it seems like from the videos I watched and reading about the situation. These are tier one none. And the resub red. Why wouldn't they have private servers then? Ark has... Like, they're not banned from playing Ark forever or anything. They're banned from those specific, like, uh, snail game servers, I think. Because there is, like, community-owned servers. But that still doesn't excuse banning players just because they raided your base. But also, not even that... Oh my god, Steve is such dog shit. I hate that character. But even... Not just that. It seems like some of the community members are tight with snail games where if they get raided they'll cry to snail games to ban them and they will What snail games? Uh, Ark. Survival Evolved. Things of the Prime. Justin. Just looked at Ark again. Almost 300 gigs. Is it really? I'm going to look it up. I'm actually curious. What is the biggest game right now? Size. Game. How many gigs? Because that's got to be up there. Destiny's like 200 gigs or something. It's ARK. Wow. Actually, it's ARK by a comfortable margin. Uh, as of May 4th, 2023, ARK Survival Evolved is the biggest game in terms of how much space you need to install it. ARK Survival Evolved requires 400 gigabytes. In second place of call is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which requires 232. Third place is Borderlands 3, 
director's cut for 135. Fourth place is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Fifth, Red Dead Redemption 2 at 120. And then sixth is Final Fantasy 15 Windows at 110. It's according to this list. That's crazy. 400 gigs for a single game. What a fucking joke. That's not true because MSFS is about 200. MSFS, what is that? Mothership Full Send? I, I don't know what that game is. What's that acronym? Oh, Microsoft Flight Sim. Oh, 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 oh. that makes so much more sense. Okay. Yeah, it, maybe it just wasn't included in there for some reason. But it has like the entire world in it. Yeah, but Ark Survival Evolved has like dinosaurs and, and mechs and shit in it. Damn. Alright. Aaron got 3 0 by the Steve. God, that character is. That character makes me so sad. Just wait until the next Star Wars game from Respawn to be 300 gigs of uncompressed audio. True. Did you finish the Star Wars game? Jedi Survivor? Yeah. It also has a cool speedrun that I actually might start. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I pulled it up on stream once, but it's actually pretty cool. The intro sucks. The intro is really boring, but the rest of the speed runs fun. Not not too dissimilar from Only Up. Like the first 20 minutes, or not, like the first 10-ish minutes of the speed run is kind of boring, but everything after that gets so cool. Things to resub Charlotte. Things that are resub cream and ham. Have you seen the Half Life Histories by Kyle Hill? No, I have not. <clears throat> you hear Netflix is adding Titanic back on July 1st. I mean, I don't really care. That's cool, I guess. I, I don't plan on, like, re-watching Titanic or anything. Is it Prime Arrow? No, that Logitech game controller thing on the seafloor is definitely fake. I couldn't even find a legitimate source for that, but there's absolutely 0% chance that the fucking $20 Logitech gamepad survived the, sub in the submersible implosion. That's ridiculous. That's like saying they found, like, a pretzel that someone was eating as a snack when it imploded. Like, there's no chance. Thanks to the Prime Orf.
The peanut butter and jelly survived. Yeah. The implosion wasn't powerful enough to get rid of the PB&J. You see Gabe Newell bought a submarine. I heard about that. I didn't really look into it, though. I mean, that's that's cool, I guess. Hold on, let me take a tinkle real quick. I'll be right back. Give me two seconds. Back. Thank you, Reset Chef. You seen the Destiny 2 drama? Yeah, it's really nice to see more people finally uh, talking about Destiny 2 being very predatory. Jackson is unfortunately an absolute addict, a fiend who can't quit, so he keeps me updated on all of the policies that are. Er, policies? All of the, the pricing and everything that's been going on, and all the microtransaction nonsense, and all the seasons being fucking terrible recently. So it's cool to see people talking about it. Destiny 2 is a game with so much fucking potential, but for some reason they keep making the worst decisions with it. I cannot tell you how excited we all were to run the most recent campaign, the most recent raid. And it turns out Root of Nightmares only took us like 5 hours on day 1, when we have literally never day 1 finished the raid. And we do all of them. Like, they're making the game extremely fucking easy, which I think is, it's fine. It, it's fine to do that. But there should still be, like, that big in-game thing you strive for that is hard. And, and that is, like, really rewarding. And, and it's going away from that direction, which is what made me upset. The, the narrative, the narrative was unforgivable. There's actually a great video on it. Can't remember who, who made it. I'll just, I'll do that and see if it comes up. Oh, yeah, 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 here. It's this one. This is a great video breaking down just how ridiculous the narrative was in the most recent expansion. Yeah, by all means, Sneaky, for sure. I know Asmin recently watched Aztec's video, so the Destiny community's been pretty excited to see it getting more coverage. Let me see resub Toadie. Yeah, this is a great explanation on everything wrong with that story. I 
There's a resub STB. We were all so fucking excited for it, man. And to be fair, like, the beginning of the campaign was fun. It's just... Then it just keeps doing the same thing forever without an actual story. And the raid was so fucking easy. Day one raid. So fucking easy. We took a three hour break to watch our Valorant team and we still finished it in like... What was it, like an hour and a half after we took the three hour break and we were on like a third, third encounter? I don't even remember. Just... <laughs> I just don't understand how how it misses so bad. Did they sneaky? I didn't see that. Jackson didn't even mention it. Charlie be getting carried? What are you talking about? What? I posted the raid, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. I geared the shit out of my character for that. I grinded super hard to get ready for it. That was not a carry. And in fact, on my squad, I was the one that started proposing the planet solutions. I did not get carried. We all really, like, grinded hard for that. We do day one raids all the time for Destiny. Well, once a year for Destiny. It's incredible content. Is the resub Israel and Cloudy? Don't worry, Cade's coming back to save Destiny. I rubbed that shit in Jackson's face so hard. I called Cade coming back years ago. I knew Destiny wouldn't be able to keep Cade out of it. He's just like the easiest like fan service point and like smile like, oh, like pog out. Oh, Cade, he's back. I knew they'd do it eventually. But Jackson stayed strong saying they're not going to do that. They couldn't do that. Is there some phantom? I probably will watch it on stream, Camus. But I do want to know the the big scam for sure. He's a prime Cedric. And there is a bean. And there is a withered. And the prime harves. I think he's a figment of her imagination. Like trauma. Nah, maybe. I don't think so. I, I'm going to stay strong in what I've said for fucking years now. They're they're gonna bring Cade back. Cade is the most like beloved character. Well, I won't say that. He is one of the most beloved characters in Destiny. He's been dead for a while now, and Destiny needs a W. They need some goodwill from the community. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna tap into Cade, and I think they bring him back fully, not just in like memories or imagination or space heaven or some kind of like veil thing. No, they're absolutely bringing Cade back. The clear hint is the Traveler portal. Was the was the Traveler? I don't I don't remember the trailer. The uh, cinematic now was the Traveler portal there. Yeah, the cutscene showed the portal in the background after revealing Cade. Interesting. Cade was their get out of jail free card and they needed it now. They needed it now more than ever, exactly. They need that glup shit -o moment, but for Destiny. Look, oh my god! This is it! It's here! The running theory is that you die as a guardian, you revive inside the Traveler, but that could just be cope. Oh yeah, I'll watch the new cutscene. That's what, uh, that's what Sneaky just said. Wait, what's it called? If I just type in Destiny 2, will it come up? Mm 
Thanks to the resub bear and Tuan and the Prime Kara and the resub Finrear. Witness Origin. The Season of the Deep, the Witness's Origin. I'm assuming it's this one. Before you can confront the Witness, you must understand it. The Witness's first victims were once like you. Struggling for survival, bolstered by hope, until their tier hopes one, became reality. They called it the Gardener, their deity of life. It ushered them into a golden age. For eons, they prospered. But their new and you said this should have been in Lightfall? To them. It lavished them with gifts. But not with guidance. And though they lived in paradise, they came to crave a greater purpose. And that's the Eververse they store, baby. Meaning, structure, a winnower, to shape the garden. Their scholars discovered that the gardener shared a connection with another entity among the stars. They called it the Veil. Oh my god, f wait, f <laughs> this is how they're finally going to explain what the veil is? In a fucking cinematic they drop on YouTube a day ago, and it's it's not even picking up steam for the community here? What? How would this- The entire expansion of Lightfall didn't even begin to explain that it was- what the veil was. It's also in the game. Okay, it's also in the game? Okay, good. Good. Uh, okay. For those wondering, yes, this cinematic will continue to be viewable in-game. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was gonna fucking say. What a crazy idea. Yeah, but it's still five months late. True, I mean, this is still very late. How you could even have all of Lightfall and still not explain the Veil is crazy, considering the Veil is, like, one of the most important components of this entire fucking world right now, and they still don't even say anything about it. There's not- it's not even just ambiguous. It's- there's literally nothing there. There was nothing. Until now. They That's wild. It. They arrived to claim it. They already knew much about the light. How it could bend the laws of the universe and create life. But they came to realize that it could bring ruin just as easily. The cosmic events it set in motion could wipe out entire civilizations in a heartbeat. Without reason. And so they saw the light. Not as a source of prosperity. But destruction. But of unfettered chaos. By studying the veil, they came to know the darkness. A power that was shaped by thought and consciousness. And in the darkness, they found the means to carve away the chaos of existence. To calcify it into a final shape. Hey, that's the name of the last expansion. Eternal and perfected. They brought the veil back to the gardener in an attempt to strengthen their connection. There, they could reshape reality itself. The Gardener would not allow it. And so it fled their world. But they would not be deterred. Having witnessed the truth in the darkness, they used its binding power to merge themselves. Uh, into the witness, okay. Into the salvation they craved. Thus began the Witness's pursuit. Its campaign to impose meaning on a meaningless universe. One that is nearly at its end. I just can't believe this wasn't in the actual expansion. This is... 
Out of everything in the Lightfall expansion, this is like legitimately more important and more meaningful to the narrative than that entire fucking expansion and everything in it. This one three minute 46 second cutscene. That's crazy. That is so crazy to me. I can't believe that. I, I just actually can't believe the incompetence. I care about I care more about this cutscene than the guy who died. Which guy? There was a couple, but I bet you don't even remember their well, you probably remember one of their names because he was super annoying. Is there sub Samwise and Wacko in the Prime Xeno or the Bit Xeno? In the Prime game. Three minutes of screen time and acted like it was the saddest death of all time. Yeah, but then I also really appreciated the uh I can't remember the I can't remember the other guy's name. But he's like he's like holding up the pillar, he's like just go! I got it! And then he dies. It's, and it's like, I didn't, brother, I didn't even, I didn't even know who you were. Thanks to Prime Monty. Rohan! Yeah, 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 Rohan. So what is the witness? Well, judging from this cutscene, it seems like the witness is the culmination of that entire civilization into one being... With the pure, with the single goal of delivering some kind of like um, restructuring of the universe, they said to give it purpose. It's like the anti-spirals. I guess kind of like the anti-spirals from Gurren Lagann. Vinland Saga Season 2 was great. I just haven't moist metered it yet. Alright. So I, the stream didn't lag at all for the last two hours, which tells me that it must be something with either my PlayStation capture card or cables. So I'm going to fiddle around with those a little bit more today and then maybe Final Fantasy 16 later unless I'm not confident in its ability to not lag. Then we might do like only up or something and I might just play Final Fantasy on my own because I don't want to just keep waiting long. I don't want to wait longer to play it. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear. But regardless, I'll be back on later tonight. I'm going to toss you over to Gervalin now. Today's a, today's a special day. So when I toss you to Gervalin, just say happy birthday, Paige. That'd mean a lot. So I'll be back in like three or four hours, maybe less. But in the meantime, I'll toss you to Drew Balin. Make sure to say happy birthday to Paige. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. New subs, welcome aboard. Sub means a lot. Thanks for subbing. I will see you all very soon.